Have you ever wondered if the prices hold up for those hot comic book lists one year later? Well, that's exactly what we're going to take a look at today. I'm going to take a look at my top five not to buy video from one year ago, and we're going to see if some of the comic books from the Key Collector Training 20, CBSI Hot 10, and Cover Price Top 10 have held up or whether they were good investments or not. Hi, I'm Christopher, aka the Bronze Age Nerd, and on this channel I make a video pretty much every week where I take a look at the top five comic books not to buy for that week, and I pull those comic books from those hot lists. In this video series, I follow up on the prices of those and see how those performed one year later. We're gonna check the prices on the five comic books that I selected back in uh, March 25th, 2022. And we're at about 13 months later, so it's a really good data set for these comic books. There's been lots of sales on them. Let's see how they performed in that time span. We'll do that by checking uh, cover price, go collect, Overstreet Access, ComicsPriceGuide.com, and eBay sold listings. So we'll have a really good data set on raw and graded comic books for each one to see how those performed. The first comic we're going to look at is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire number three. This is the first appearance of 4LOM, who was rumored to appear in a Star Wars TV show. I think it was Obi-Wan. Might have been Book of Boba Fett. I can't remember at this point. Uh, anyways, they were, they were rumored to come back for a TV show, and let's see how that book's performed. All right, so as always, our first stop is Cover Price. Now, you can see Cover Price has this book in a slight upward trend. Uh, let's look at raw comic book sales. Their most common condition for this is a VF, which is kind of surprising. Um, looking at a VF, I see a high sale. Looks like 16 to, yeah, about 16, 15 bucks. Seems to be where this book's been at since uh, November. When we do go back and look at March of 2022, it was about a nine or eight dollar book. So that's actually a pretty good improvement in that one condition. I'm curious what near mint looks like. Forty dollars back when the list was made to thirty-two now, but in between nine dollars, twelve bucks, ten bucks. That's kind of hard to really draw a conclusion from. Let's look at slabbed. Uh, on slabbed, don't have a lot of sales data to go off of here, but it looks like a nine-eight sold for thirty-six dollars. Geez, uh, seventy-one back in September, a hundred back in back in April of last year. Okay. And then, yeah, right when the list was made, $250. Um, $200 right before that. So, yeah, I think that kind of speaks for itself right there. <laughs> um, people, I, there's a reason why I make these videos. Those folks were paying hundreds of dollars for these books, and now they're selling for $36. Scary. Okay, on Go Collect, we're looking at uh, CGC Universal 9.8 labels here. A one-year average is... $41 on this book. So you can kind of see the sales data there. That's very telling. Okay, how about comicspriceguide.com? They have a raw value of a 9.4 at about $30, and they have a 9.8 at about 110 which is very interesting for their pricing. Uh, Overstreet Access has this as a 9.4 range is about $20. And looking at eBay sold listings, um... We have it selling in multiple lots. Oh my gosh. One, two, and three. CGC 9.6 sold for $70. That's that's incredible. Um, a lot of these are not the right issue. The entire run selling for 20 bucks. Don't have a lot of individual sales of that issue. Um, for LOM, not a very popular character, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and safely say that, you know, despite some prices showing is a little bit higher, actual sales data from sites like GoCollect and from cover price and from eBay. When we dive into those, it doesn't seem to be selling for that much. So I safely think that that one was a great book not to buy. I'm glad I included that particular book. All right, let's move on to the next book on the list. And that's going to be a really special one. This is the JLA Avengers Hero Initiative Trade Paperback. Okay, so taking a look at the Heroes Initiative Trade Paperback, this was a benefit for George Perez, of course. Okay, so this one is a little tough, little difficult because a lot of these sites actually don't have a listing for it. I tried searching multiple ways and couldn't come up with it. Uh, raw cover price says that it's an FMV of 201, which is interesting from what I could see. So let's see, 325 is when that video came out. So it's selling about 215 before that, you know, 200 around that time. And we do have one high sale of 260, but other than that, 185, 199, 200, 202, 200, that's pretty steady. So when we look at slab, and yes, you can slab this book, uh, we have 198 sale for 168.50. That's super interesting. Uh, for those wondering, uh, go collect. I couldn't bring it up. I couldn't find the correct series on uh, 
on comicspriceguide.com. Don't have it on Overshoot Access. Of course, they have it on eBay. And looking at eBay, uh, $125.99 is the last couple sales. $150, best offer for less than $125. $170, $125, $94, $150, $148.88. Look, very safe to say that this book is down from that over $200. And in fact, I remember this book going for like $250 a few times. And I, the reason why I would know that. I actually won a copy of this from like a kind of like a mystery box kind of a thing. Um, and I, I flipped it. I flipped it because I love it, but I'm I'm not. I love it for what it is, but I'm not like particularly uh, interested in holding on to this one. So I, I just got the value out of it. And I believe I sold mine for. 175, I think something like that. I can't remember exactly, but uh, so I, I had checked prices and I knew that some had gone for a little bit more, but it was kind of starting to come down around that time when I did sell mine. And it's it's definitely, you know, it's still holding really good value, of course. People are going to really enjoy this book for a long time, but it's not gaining value. Now, I do want to look up a CGC 9.8 value and see what that's going for in this, see if we have any sales data that we can look at. Yeah, taking a quick scroll through, I don't see any CGC 9.8s to, to have sales data from. I know they've sold in the past, but I just couldn't pull any up from, from what eBay is willing to show you on their search history. All right, so next up, let's look at a very amazing book. This is Catwoman 41, the 1 in 25 variant, Sozo Mica. All right, so this is a great cover. Absolutely love this cover. Uh, near Mint, they're listing on cover price. The current price is $38, and a 9.2 is the most common grade in a $70 slab. That's very interesting, 9-2. Okay, so this hit the list, um, looks like at about $30 or so, and then um, never really took off big time. $45 is our highest sale. That's pretty interesting. Slabbed, uh, one slab sale is a 9-2 for $69.88. Fascinating. Over on Go Collect, one year average is $111. They do have some more uh, captured sales data here. Looks like it's still selling about what I expected it to be going for when I made that video in a 9.8. I mean, 50 or $60, less than $80 on the best offer, 62. Now there is some higher sales here, 118, 115, a $300 fixed price sale. That is amazing. Um, yeah, so interesting how that, that one panned out. Uh, comicspriceguide.com has a near mint of $39 and a, a 9.8 graded for $132. And over on Overstreet Access, uh, they list this one as a $4 book. Going to eBay. eBay sold listings for this one $40 for a raw, uh, $20, $60 for that, and an art germ. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think this one, I, I'm really tempted to say this one didn't hold anywhere near as much as like 39 did, for example, or, or even um, uh, 43 was another big one. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, next up on the list, we have Star Wars 16 from 1978. Uh, this is the first appearance of a character that people thought were coming back. It's the Hunter, uh, whose real name is Valance. But anyways, uh, so let's look over at cover price. Cover price has this one uh, currently trending down. Fine is the most common grade. I'm actually going to look at VF, though. I like that for this vintage of book. Um, well, I can maybe see why. $45 right around the time I made the list, then $48, and now we have $550, and then $40. That's interesting. It popped back up again. How about in a slab? Okay, for a slab, it said the most common grade was a 9.6, so let's look at a 9.6. Um, a 9.6 hasn't busted 100 bucks, which is crazy, because looking at 9.8s, it looks like 9.8s, around the time that list came out, were going for $630, and now they're going for about 214 to 240 But still, under $100 for a 9.6 is a pretty good deal for that book, it feels like. <laughs> uh, let's look at Go Collect. Uh, Universal 9.8s from CGC. Uh, one year average is 306. The 90 day average is 250. And they do have populate some more data here. But it does start to show a downward trend for the most part. There's, there's this one sale of 390 that sticks out though. Let's look at Comics Price Guide. They have a raw at about $15 and a near mint uh, 9.8 at 100. 
Overstreet Access lists this as um, uh, if you look at like VF minus or so, about twelve seventy five, all the way up to like a nine six is about twenty four. eBay sold listings an eight five sold for thirty two dollars, a nine six sold for seventy five. Um, raw copies four dollars, three fifty, ten fifty. I don't know. Like I guess this is one of those ones where maybe if you got a good raw copy that ended up being a nine six or a nine eight, you got it graded, you'd do pretty well, but I feel like that's true for just about most Star Wars comics from this time frame, right? Like, if you had a really high-grade raw copy of any of the minor keys, that would be pretty good. I don't know. This one's tough, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I still think that you, if what you were buying into it for at the time, I don't see massive turnaround. So I'm going to go ahead and say this was a good book not to buy on this one as well, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And last but not least, we have Miss Marvel number five. This was the uh, the scene from the end of the first teaser trailer that came out from Miss Marvel. Is what caused this one to go up in value, believe it or not. And I already feel really confident about this one. It's currently down four and a half, uh, four point zero five percent. Raw comics near mint, fifteen dollars is the current average. Wow, that's just incredible. So this book was selling for. Um, so it went from 40 to 60 to 112. There's 53, 60, 56, 54, 25, uh, 25, 35, another 55 that sticks out, a couple higher sales, 36, 19, one sale of $60 back in November, and then a sale of 56, and then down to $15. That is just crazy. The most common graded price was a, or a graded condition was a 9.8 and in a 9.8 this sold for $400 at one point then 305 and then 155 in July uh, looking at a CGC 9.8 from Universal Labels on Go Collect we see that the current one year average is 260 however this is a 156 sale that we were looking at over on the other site uh, 320 305 396 I just don't see a lot of sales volume recently for this one. Fascinating. On comicsprice.com, you have a 9.4 selling for $10 and a 9.8 at $68. Uh, raw and slabbed over on Overstreet Access. Uh, they're calling this basically a $5 book. And when we look at eBay sold listings, ah, this is interesting. I do have one near mint sale at $50 that just happened, but then $17, $15. Um, less than 24, 25, 15, 40, uh, 30, 45, 12, 30. This book is all over the place. Huh. Okay. The best way I can interpret that from what I'm looking at there is I think this book has kind of been cemented. This is also like a partial origin, I think, of, of Miss Marvel 2. There's, it's, there's a little bit more to it, but a lot of it was that cover. I, I think it's kind of iconic along the same lines as the one where it's got the, the lightning bolt, you know, uh, S, whatever that's supposed to be, symbol on her chest, and she's uh, um, uh, just kind of like that shot from here to here, right? I think th this is kind of in that same category, so it's probably never going to be a nothing book. People are probably still going to be looking for this, but... I clearly see the value going down, especially with the high grade copies. So I think maybe there's a chance that quick flippers got a good deal on this one, but it was pretty risky and it's definitely come back down to earth. Then again, every once in a while, it looks like somebody pays a lot for this book. So that's fascinating. What was your favorite book from this price breakdown? Let me hear about it in the comments section. Also, uh, you know, what do you think of this video series? Is there anything changes I need to make to it? Is there anything you want to see improved? If you are one of my channel members, I want to thank you. Their names are appearing on the screen right now, and they are awesome people that help me make this channel every month. So isn't that cool? That's so cool. If you want to become a channel member, you can hit the link down below to become one if you want, and then we can watch a movie together at the end of the month. I watch a bad comic book movie every month. Got another one coming up here in a couple days. Let's check that out together. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I want to remind you, as always... Hey, 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 hey. Read comics every day.